So how much uh, how much time did you put in the offseason for catching the ball and shooting the ball? Um, I mean, that's always been a focus for me, um, I think, more than anything. In the offseason, you're always trying to get better at a lot of different stuff. Yeah. When you hone in on something like that, just because it's something you can easily do every day. Um, I would say, honestly, it's been more focused, like, once we got into the season, especially for me, because, like, after you play some, you see, like, those are the type of shots you're probably going to get a lot in the game. So just just stealing 10 or 15 minutes before or after practice, just getting those types of shots, um, just feeling comfortable. And especially for me, like, coming from high school, like, I never really shot spot-up threes. Yeah. I was just always playing with the ball. Right. So I was never used to it. So it's taken me, you know, since I got here almost two years, to kind of settle into it a little bit, and I feel good right now. So just got to keep – just keep working, uh, keep taking the open shots when they're there, and just being confident even when, you know, it's not always going to be, they're not always going to go in like they are. So yeah. just take them even when you're open, and, you know, if you're missing them, you're missing them. But if they're good shots, just keep shooting them with confidence. Yeah, so that was my next question. Obviously, in high school, you had the ball in your hands all the time. In grassroots, you know, it, it's not always the most balanced offense sometimes. So right. um, did you have to learn to do it here, basically? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much, honestly. Because uh, even when I would work out at high school, I never really did it that much. And it, I always felt like I had two different shots because, like, playing with the ball when you're playing off the bounce, like, I had, like, more rhythm. And then when you're catching and shooting, you don't have as much, like, mm-hmm. coming into it. I would just always be short and stuff and still do sometimes. So just kind of, like, relearning it. You always know how to do that, but kind of, like, relearning it um, and just getting consistent. It was definitely something I had to focus on. Sure. So, so what's the most important part of it? If there, I'm sure there's some sort of science to it. What's what, what's the biggest key to, uh, to it? I don't know. I'm not <laughs> – don't call me like – I know I've shot the ball uh, okay this year. Um, it's obviously a small sample size, so um, you know, we'll see where it goes. But for it's me – It's February 12th. <laughs> I mean <laughs> – uh, For me, it's just – I always just miss short normally. So for me, it's like getting momentum, like coming into the shot, like when you're standing still, yeah. like making sure I have enough momentum and then – PJ and you know these guys always tell me like finish through my elbow like really extend because sometimes I'll kind of like just flick it and leave it short so just those main things honestly just like once you find like what feels good and just, just focusing in on the basics I just believe in it and doing it over and over and over again. How did you I guess how did the process begin for you was it just you yourself in the gym working on it was it you with a GA working on it what was uh it's been a combination of things um definitely like getting on the gun in the summer like that's something mm-hmm. you can just always do it's easy um, a lot of stuff with the GAs, especially now that we're in season, just stepping before after practice. And, you know, with I did some stuff with Coach Lusk in the summer that just focused on, like, flicking and just making sure you're, like, really into your shot with momentum and stuff. So kind of like a mismatch of different guys and pieces. All the all the staff, and, you know, has played a part in it. And even the other guys on the team, too, like, just, you know, believing in me and looking for me, you know, to shoot the basketball and find me and stuff. And so it's kind of a collection of everybody in it. So. So you look more confident now than you were at the start of the year doing it. It has success kind of emboldened you a little bit too? Yeah, definitely. I, th- I think at the beginning of the year I was, I mean, obviously shooting them when I was open, um, but I was like looking more to try and get downhill and make plays. And I still am to an extent, but obviously the way our offense has kind of morphed a little bit, like Jaden's taking on a lot of that responsibility. Um, you know, we play inside out a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, so still – to give us a variety, you know, if I ever have a chance to attack the basket, down only plays I can really try and do that. Um, but like I said, as the seasons progress and seeing where all of our shots are coming from, there's usually a lot of threes just because we have so many other great shooters. Like if I'm on the floor, even if I'm shooting well, they're probably leaving me right. open compared to some of the other guys that I'm with. So I would say that's probably the biggest thing. Just kind of, you know, as you watch film in the, in the season, it kind of morphs. You see what you did and just take what the defense gives you. So.